on everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another vlog in this video we're going to take like at three properties here in fontana or two properties here in fontana behind me is a four bed two bath single story home built in the 2000s 1900 square feet with a 6300 lot and they're asking 485,000 for this home Let's take a look around at the neighborhood this is a very nice part of Fontana. We're in the north part of Fontana, near the 210 freeway. Outside the home looks good. We do have a ceramic tile roof, dual pane windows there, and as the owner went ahead and upgraded the property with some shutters. As they walk up to the property, some nice siding, and some nice stone work. So as you enter into the home, to the right, we have a nice space for a home office. For all the WFA to work from home people, it's a perfect spot to put a table and all the computer stuff. Here we have your dining and kitchen. Pretty cool open concept. We do have a divider in the middle that kind of uh, divides the two living areas, which is kind of cool. And then another living area here. So you can either choose to put the dining table there or the dining table there. I think because light fixture is there, the dining table is more like uh, more suited for that area. So I'm not sure if we do able to put two TVs in this area or just one TV. One TV here or one TV on the other side because you can't really play both TVs at the same time. Okay. Like the vaulted ceilings, very nice neutral warm paint color. Same with the flooring, very nice neutral warm paint. I do like this black and white combo. Very cool, very modern. Do note the kitchen cabinets are a little bit older. Here we have the laundry area. And then to the left is your garage. Then we have one room all the way at the front of the house. And so this is kind of cool because you have some privacy in the front. And then as you walk toward the right, we have two more bedrooms right here. Kids' bedrooms, most likely. Not that big bedrooms, actually. Very small. Then we have an upgraded vanity here with the uh, fiberglass enclosure. Very cool. Some nice uh, living room storage, maybe like a wet bar without the sink. And then here we have the master bedroom. Master bedroom is not that big, but would fit a queen size bed pretty good. King size bed if you squeeze it in. Then here's just a standard uh, subway tiles or fiberglass enclosure for the shower and the tub. Very common in these uh, homes. Okay. You do have a walk-in closet and a throne room there. Nice master retreat. Now let's go take a look at the next property. Here we are in the kitchen. They have a ceramic tile for the high traffic areas and then wood flooring for the rest of the home. These are the original cabinets. They did put a new countertop on top. And this is nice dark granite. But they did new handles and then they painted the kitchen cabinets to kind of refresh it. But it does look kind of worn. I like how the granite goes all the way up to the backsplash. Nice open concept, and you can use this as a dining area or the other area's dining area there. Okay. Then we have a closet. No, this is a pantry. Good for spices and all the other pantry items. And I like the fact that the ceilings are vaulted, and you do have uh, shutters throughout. So here we have the yard with a nice covered patio. This is a decent sized lot for this uh, area of Fontana. And we do have room for patio chairs and we got room for a barbecue. And if you wanted to, you could even put a hot tub. So nice high privacy walls. 
and the home is built in the 2000s so the air conditioner is a little bit older i believe this is a master bedroom and i like the fact that they put the shutters for the uh, sliding doors the home is built in the 2000s so most air conditioners last about 25 years this home should be due for an air conditioner replacement in the next five years or so okay our second stop for today in fontana it's a brand new community called iron walk at gabion ranch and this is going to be a single story property it's 1900 square feet starts at 520,000 three bed two bath two car garage so you can see very nicely landscaped very very typical of a brand new home here in fontana there is a two percent property tax or what you call um Miller Roos, and that's to build out the streets and the schools and the utilities and all that stuff like that okay. entryway to the right we have a bedroom and a closet but no restroom so more of a guest bedroom more than anything very nice wallpaper very nicely staged nice wide halls this is about a six feet hallway to the left you have your garage which they never usually allow you to see then we have a nice laundry area with storage awesome then we have a closet here for your coats and we have a whole house fan because it does get hot in Fontana virtual tour so I can get on to the next property we'll make this one quick here is your super super cool open concept I'm gonna walk you through the kitchen real quick upgraded black splash the thing you want to know with new construction is that it's always not everything's always included if you can see the flooring is laid on in a special diagonal way with the cross with the cross pattern that is extra Sometimes they include everything in these properties. Sometimes they don't. As you can see, that's upgraded. That's upgraded. Those pendant lights are upgraded. Beautiful kitchen though. No backyard on these newer developments. So I'm gonna take you straight to the master and show you the master. Good size master. Love all the open lighting coming in. High ceilings. Very nice finish on the wood flooring. Six by 12 tiles. Upgraded carpet in the huge master walk-in closet. Then we have very standard vanities. I've seen a lot of these newer built homes. Fiberglass shower enclosure. And your throne room right there. Okay. Pretty standard layout for a new construction master bath. Here we are in a master bedroom. Good size, not too large, not too small. Here's where you're gonna spend all your time most likely. In the living room area. And this is a Lennar built home, as you can see. Nope, I guess everything's included. There are some upgrades though. All right, let's go to the next property. I like these wide open hallways though. Here's the last property. It's a three bed, two bath, 2,000 square feet. 8,500 square feet on the lot, built in 2000. They're asking 485. This property is already sold from what the agent says nice entryway the nice tiling the wood flooring they've done all this molding and trim i love all the crown molding they put across the home 
just gives the home a much more upscale feel. You don't see um, these moldings and trims on a lot of these properties because it is fairly expensive to do. Center Island. Like all the white appliances. A nice open concept here. Lots of ceiling fans to move the air around. And then some nice carpeting. This looks staged, but it looks like people actually still live here in this property. It used to be a model home. See ceilings built into the speakers. I see speakers built into the ceilings. And we do have a nice a nice backyard with a nice patio cover. It's just gotta be cleaned out or power washed. And the air conditioning is a little bit old because this is a 2000s home, but it feels very modern. So it's very spacious. Here we have a nice little area for a gazebo or a sun umbrella just to hang out and enjoy the backyard. Good spot for a barbecue. Nice single story. I like single story homes. They tend to be forever homes. Or you don't have to worry about moving out if you don't want to walk up and down the stairs. Very clean, very well kept outside of the property. Back to your living area. So we're going to finish off the tour by going to the rest of the uh, home. Laundry and garage, which I really like. And then they have a little seating area for, it's like a mudroom too. Pretty cool. Everything looks like it's nice and uh, freshly painted. I see a Nest thermostat. They did update the restroom, but they left the original vanity and countertop. That's okay. As long as everything looks clean and neat. I really like the crown molding in there. One bedroom here. Another bedroom here. Then I like the cross pattern on the flooring. Very nice and warm flooring. Double door entry for the uh, master. And then uh, lots, lots of nice paneling throughout the property. Recessed lighting, ceiling fan. Then we have another little loft area here, for like an office or sitting area or a day bed. So it kind of feels like you have a large master. Standard fiberglass tub. The vanities aren't updated. Um, so I guess you'll have to spend some money to update the vanity and then the uh, nice crisscross uh, tiling on the floor. Very cool. Very nice wallpaper on the side there. And I like the fact that they've done a good choice with choosing some mirrors and some lighting for the vanities. Nice walk-in closet. Good size for a master bedroom. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next vlog. Take care, be safe, we'll see you soon. So Fontana is about 50 minutes from downtown LA. It, uh, it's a new community and there's lots of new homes. A lot of people end up relocating onto Fontana so that they can, um, they can get a $500,000 home uh, with 1,900 square feet rather than getting a 1,000 square foot home for uh, 500,000. And it's far, you do have to drive and the traffic kind of divides the two worlds. In the in the morning, the traffic is uh, traffic is heavy and then going home from downtown LA at night, the traffic is also heavy. So you just have to keep that in mind if you are thinking about moving under to Montana. Uh, I do like the newer homes. They're, um, uh, they're built very well. The layouts are very nice. And all in all, it's hard not to fall in love with these newer homes and um, kind of get sucked into buying one. Uh, not sucked into get 
not sucked into buying one, but just easier to fall in love with these homes. Yeah. And sometimes I find that we're gonna talk about financing now. I find that the builders, lenders always have a better deal for you. They can have incentives and closing cost credits and everything. So sometimes shopping for an outside lender with a new construction, sometimes it isn't really worth it. It sometimes it makes more sense to just go with the to go with the builders lender and have them get you uh, get you the financing. All right. One more property to go, and that'll, that'll be the end of the vlog for today. If you guys are looking to buy or sell any real estate, give me a call, 626-315-0048. My name is Han, a local realtor here in Southern California. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon.